Well, good morning, YouTube. Hi, guys. It is a Sunday afternoon, and once again, the weather here in Western North Carolina is absolutely gorgeous. Zach and I were doing some yard work yesterday and starting a fire, and today we're going to work on the driveway a little bit, but the weather was so nice, we decided we've got to go take a ride. So he's got his bike pulled out, and uh, I've got the street legal snowmobile pulled out. Now, it's not just that the weather was nice, we want to take a ride. There is a purpose to this. We are scouting out a spot that we want to go camping next weekend. Zach and I decided we want to take racing camping. And uh, so we're going to go find a spot that would be really cool. It will involve a little bit off-road, which is why I am bringing the Rally Edition instead of the Harley. It'll be a lot of fun. But also, I got some new microphone setups for the camera. So I want to do some testing there, see how it works with the wind. So you guys may never even see this video. And if you do, great. If you don't, you won't know you didn't. Ready whenever you are. Right, guys so while we stopped to get fuel i played with the microphone adjustment a little bit see if this is any better now technically in the process i also adjusted the angle of the camera but this 360 camera has got the ability to kind of seek its own horizon so even though it's slightly as
towards the town of Andrews. We're gonna go through Andrews and then up into an area that we call Junaleska. Junaleska gets very, very pretty as you go up through the road. I think you guys just might enjoy it. Now we're stopped. Audio should be fantastic at this point. Check out the old gas station here on the left. And the police department is all rock. Oh, I guess we're pulling into Frankie's doghouse. Closed on Sunday? Saturday and Sunday. Oh, wow, that sucks. We were going to have lunch here after scoping out our campground, but I guess not.
was another one right up here on the left a few years back too I think but it burnt down if I'm not mistaken but it was a beautiful house further and we'll be to the Junaluska Road cutoff. Then it starts getting really pretty. bicyclists in the road and with the curves the drivers want to make sure it's safe to pass
those of you not familiar with this area, if we were to keep going straight right there for a little ways, we would have ended up on the way of road. Whenever I see something, I guess we'll pull over real quick. Okay. the joys of being a motorcyclist. Yeah, so when we would have gotten to Weyer Road, if we had taken a left, it would bring us back up to 74 through the Nantahala Gorge. A right would have taken us down in through Franklin, North Carolina. But this is why I decided to bring the Riker, because gravel roads are really fun on this thing. Of course, I haven't put it in rally mode yet, so it probably won't let me drift it very much. I guess there's another way to find out, right? No, the traction control is on. See, there are some campsites and stuff just all along here, and there's a creek or a river right down there as well. There it is, nice and pretty. for this road. You guys have seen me go down way worse on the road king before. Ooh, hard hit. Oh, and there's that pipeline again. But even though this is not a motorcycle and it will never replace the two-wheel motorcycle for me, this thing, believe it or not, is a lot of fun to ride. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to ride it. Zach found a spot that he likey, so we're gonna stop and check it out. Hi guys, so we're back here on the side road and I think this is Looks like a really good spot. Now, these are all first come, first serve, so there's no guarantee this will be available next weekend when we get here. But so far, we're really digging this spot. It's so close enough to the road to be convenient, right on the creek. It's fairly level for popping a tent and whatnot. I think uh, we'll enjoy it. I think Grayson will enjoy it. Now, at this point, I have no idea how the audio was going to come out on the ride here. So, just as a recap, we're testing the different positions of that microphone. And uh, if need be, I'll do a voiceover over some of that if I can even make out what I was saying. So hopefully the audio on that works out good. And hopefully the, the video is beautiful. But I mean, it's hard for it not to be riding where we're riding. All right, guys, so that spot there was a pretty good option. We're just going to cruise down the road, see what else is here, see if we can find a, our favorite spot. Not that we can guarantee it will be available. Kind of cool, you can see the pipe going up the mountain over there.
if you caught that to the right down low when we slowed down. You'll find spots like that all over these mountains where there's just a pipe coming out of the side of the mountain. The water running out of it. Good clean drinking water. People come from all over the place to fill up their water jugs to drink that water. And for the most part, this road is fairly smooth. There are a few ginormous potholes I gotta watch out for. right there might be like a little mini waterfall right, look at that elevation difference and it is just beautiful guys I hope you can see that see that through the camera and the angles and I'm gonna spin it around here that way you guys can definitely see it hopefully I don't drive right off of the cliff yeah that is that's the stuff right there guys check it out if I had a first pick of a campsite, I think it would be right down there. I think we're going to get off the bikes and go walk it. All right, guys, just in case it didn't come out very nice, with the 360 camera, Zach and I are walking down this hill. Man, that is absolutely beautiful right there. Ooh, if I can make it down without falling, trying to hold a camera. Yeah, so this site isn't as level and not quite as big, but that waterfall makes a difference. I don't know if you can see all these butterflies flying around me too. I think that's a, that makes it a good spot. Hey guys, you can see here the water's actually pretty deep at this point. I know it's well over my head. If you look at the falls and even over here there's you know, just multiple paths and even in the campsite itself there's a little branch flowing out of the ground right there my well, guys i mentioned the butterflies check it out it's like a whole nest of them it's kind of hanging out right here I'll try not to disturb them Well, I think I disturbed them when I walked by because they're all flying around, but. All right, guys, we decided this is the site that we want. Question is, can we get here early enough before somebody else comes and gets it? I mean, camping season is kind of in full swing. It's popular right now because the weather's just perfect. Like today, it's about 70 degrees. Overnight, it's only going down into the 40s, sometimes a little 50s. So it's just that perfect time. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. So we're not gonna be the only ones they are gonna want this spot. The question is, can we get here early enough to get it? Anyway guys, that'll be a video for next week. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the ride out here and that beautiful scenery. And until the next time we see you, keep those engines running. All right guys, now that we've come and seen what we need to see, we are on our way out. But this time, I remember to put it in rally mode. Oh yeah, no traction now.